My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. That's weird. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly oh. interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. Let's see, don't need that one. Oh, hello, what's this? I need something to put on it. Okay. So this one's not actually meant to power anything up. This one's not meant to weigh. Fair enough. Wow, I can't see shit and hit this hallway. What puzzles? What intellectual battle? How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check mm. my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Oh, he's a little bit right. Species. So that doesn't need to be there. Can instead be here. And we'll grab this. Shove that up. And be on our way, almost. I do like the way you move around and interact with the, uh, the energy sources. Oh, this was empty with mine. Whoops. Oh, almost. I actually want to do this. Oh, no, no. Don't want to screw up now. And then I guess there was a double over there. Oh, and it only takes those. Oh, it took it from me. It's a jerk. a little face. Oh. I... Oh yeah, you have to barely move for that. 
Oh, hey, I got a polite conversation, which is an achievement. I was typing everything, but now it's typing for me. That's a little weird. Oh, I can't. <laughs> That's weird. Maybe my very original thing, my original guess before the game started, will come true. Oh, you're not let- ah, uh, Well, let me take it. Uh, as far as doing walk slow crouched... Yes. Ah, uh, thanks, Dark. That makes sense. So as long as you crouch, you can get by these things. Or if you do that weird stutter step I was doing. But that's a lot less efficient. build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Hmm. That's weird to construct yourself. <laughs> have you heard of the Turing test, Abel? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. We've had this conversation. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations. One with a machine, and one with another human. <laughs> they then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine, and which is with a human. The machine mm. being tested is said to have passed the Turing test. If the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine, and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. Wouldn't you say? He's evil. Probably. Not really sure on this. So the general thing is, you just want to use... You always want to try and go back and take things forward. Oh. As I say that, I already screw up, because I don't want this one over here. I want it down there. And I want this one... Most likely... Wait. Is that all that does? That's not very useful. Well, Zavarin, what if I am a robot? And I am a test that's been fooling you all along. Dark Souls is the true Turing test, didn't you know? This doesn't seem right. Am I really done with this area? Okay. If you say so, video game. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not ah. directly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? 
And now? Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person so I'm just stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. I feel like she should follow up to that one, like, what the fuck are you talking about, Tom? Are you threatening me, Tom? But, nope. In fact, maybe he did just pause our conversation. Because why wouldn't she respond to that? Uh, so I can't grab this at all. Okay, just making sure. Maybe we're both robots, Severin. Maybe this is all... Hey, I'm actually surprised I can walk on this. Maybe this is all just a giant simulation. And at some point someone's going to reset and we're going to simply stop existing. And we'll never know. We'll never know. Wait, is there a... There we go. I always say life's a game. So, you know what? Maybe it is. Dream of giant turtle floating in space. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. This is a very alien esque. I see you, developers. I don't see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence everywhere is slightly impressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he in the toilets? You know what? Maybe that's how Tom gets his jollies. And he, you know what? Just take one for the team for Tom. You're not, you're not really supporting Tom here, guys. Just think of Tom. Okay, that's drilling reports. Why? Don't. Are those real. Something about their faces seems fake. Dirt. Hey, whiskey. Let's uh, let's down some of that one. Hey, they're Canadian. This guy's Canadian. Now there's at least one Canadian in the audience. These zooms are disappointing, but there's nothing to actually. Strange thermals on the west side of the crater. See, that's what I want. I want more of that. But I also just wish I could do anything with these devices. Like, I can pick up each and every fucking one of these. What's the point? That's so weird. Like, I'm not really... Uh, just generic sounding drugs. Because we care. I just wish there were less things to physically pick up if there's no value in picking them up, you know? Uh, huh. They're all taking this drug. That's weird. How did I get on the outside? Dog! Hmm. 
Maybe I'm too quick. Whoa. Whoa. Come, come on. Come to me. I want to see what that says, but it's morphine? Okay. So there was some sort of medical emergency here. Wow, this guy's a really good. Or perhaps too good, because that's... Maybe he's a robot. Maybe Mikhail is a robot. When setting the organism, please find the attached scanning electron microscope image. Complex life on Europa. We've attached conforming confirming that the organism attaches to human cells. We proceed with irradiation experiments. We have run the irradiation experiments and confirmed that it does indeed confer resistance to radiation. We assume survival is due to DNA damage repair. Huh. We don't know what's performing the repair. The lab doesn't know how it works. This is a phenom this is phenomenal. We fit finish sequencing it. It's unlike anything we've ever seen. The plants are clearly exhibiting longer life spans when exposed to the organism. We don't have the facilities that look like fatalities or something. So here to continue testing. So we are going on to human testing. We're going to use ourselves as subjects. It's the only way to accelerate progress. That's probably against a ton of directives, and you people are stupid. Now, what would be amazing if this was a Rubik's Cube and I could actually use it? Because I'd solve that thing. And by solve that thing, I mean I'd get it pretty close and then give up. Motion sickness relief. There's a lot of drugs all over the place. Chapter 2. Here's an organism. We don't know how it works. Let's put it under our own bodies. Yay. Oh, you guys can see the achievements. Good. Okay. Let's continue. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. Now, oh, right. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I completely ignore that part of the room. What's going on over here? Oh! Oh, it just regenerates the same one. That's weird. Wait a minute. I'm confused. I'm confused at what I just did. Hmm. But if I do that, oh, I see what I got. Okay. I thought I, was, I had made a second one of these, so I was very confused as to where the first one went. Yeah, I mean, it's a puzzle game, so it shouldn't really fail you in any way. Typically. They sent drones to Earth's moon. 
Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risk. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Shoot that one there. That I... I guess I could do this, but that doesn't really... Ah. No. Hmm. Maybe I can get a second one to shoot. But of course now I have to reset. Or maybe if I use another one of those uh, creator things. Yeah, this is what I need. Now we're doing it. I wonder if I'll ever have to juggle more than three of these things. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well... I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. That's not what happened in the first puzzle. I simply thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. That wasn't the. F Did he say one of the first or the first? Because I'm pretty sure it was not the first puzzle. The first puzzle was me taking a box and putting it. Just picking it up and putting it into a wall socket. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. 
It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it hmm. could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. The first puzzle did having put a box through. Okay. I thought that was the second puzzle. But that's fine. See, I'm not a robot because I can't remember simple details like that. If you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative, but in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. So, what do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking, creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them, so I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, mm. in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Do I have to stack these up and put them in submission? That'd be pretty funny. I can't toss it up, damn. Yeah, let's try stacking these, what the hell. Or maybe I'll just give them, give it to them, and try to appease it. Yeah, I just want flying frosty. I'm sorry. That appears to be the solution. Fantastic. Storage unit, storage unit. The universe's machine epsilon. Oh, that's cool. I'm definitely in a a robot of some kind. I can see something red on. Hmm. I can't see my legs as a human though, which is weird. <laughs> 